Okay, you're going to transfer over two files. Uh, the DC order file is a little big because it's got the .NET framework in there. Uh, but we're going to do extract all. And then we're going to tell it to be C and C underscore order. And then I've already had extracted it, so it's going to ask me if I want to do it again. And then we're going to extract this so we can have a query analyzer capabilities. So once again, I'm going to get the prompt. So now if I go to C, C order man. <laughs> what we want to do is in DC order, we want to take and create a shortcut. F2. We're going to cut it. We're going to paste it in store man. I already have one, so it's going to ask me to replace it. <laughs> um, only other thing you have to do now is if you look in the uh, well let's set up our function first so we're going to open SMS Pro the idea here is to have it at the bottom of the DCR pull down so in the IJs will be a little bit different than the Junior Foods but the goal is the same so we're going to log in with uh, program or password and go to functions we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom And if you start to scroll up, you'll end up seeing SKU over here in the host section. And that's where we'll find him. So typically it's going to be 38014, but like I said, in the IJ it may have to be a different number. Whatever number you need to get it at the bottom of the DCR pull down menu. So the first function we're going to create is going to be SKU in the host, DCR in the menu, and a dash. And then we're going to give it assistant manager, owner, and programmer. Then we're going to create one function that's one number higher than that, SKU, DCR, DC order. This is going to be LNK equals single quote, C, Storeman, Worthington, single quote. Once you have that in play, log back into SMS Pro, and you will have the DC order pull down. I don't have a COM port, so I get that. Uh, if you hit F3 here, and here you can set the COM port. If you don't know what the COM port is supposed to be, My recommendation would be to go into the Storeman Exchange RFC folder, open up this. Uh, I'm not gonna get in there. Are the little radio the uh, RFC server? And if you to set up com settings, use whatever they have in there. Yeah, I'm in this loop now. That way your uh, com port will match up. If they've been using the device previously, then you should be able to go straight up. Uh, and then you'll need to watch the other video on how to program the barcodes in the Worthington. And that's all there is to it.